Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Sir? How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. And he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? It doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Right, and maybe my carpets are magical. <laughs> Give your old man some credit, Marwen. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up, and away.
And a good day to you, sir. Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry. Looking fine today, sir. No, he is capitalism. I mean, that's what we all want this day and age, right? Not me. That's a load of rubbish. We all want these wins as imperialistic things. Salam! I am so honored by your visit to my... get involved, should we take action? No, no, we can't. They will only bring more into the village. But we have been The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African liberation movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands which, of course, is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a camera right there. Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? <laughs> um, huh? Look, if they do find out, you and me are at the far bottom of a very long list. Now, I'd worry less about Crystal Dawn and more about the guy who sees our wicked. Ah, yeah. Be hanged as a traitor. Thought about that scenario for a minute or two. Thank you. You so much. Hang the damn poster. Stop suffocating that person! Hey, Mr. Printman. Can you set my print?
Done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. All those people they have no idea what's about to happen. Don't think about it. Just do the job. Some soldiers back at the school. I've heard them talking. Keep walking, they had sir. Big crystal dawn Don't. headgear and old hey. Afghan rifles. They were planning to shoot at the protesters. You know, to get things rolling. Jesus. Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not it. That's a shitty outlook, man. We are part hey, of this. You man. Right here, right now? Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that'll thwart Zayden's evil scheme. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up, and somebody will. Print man. Hmm. Crystal Dawn like. sucks. My special house blend is famous in all of North Africa. Yes, darling, I'm cooking a lamb roast. It's really juicy. They say they've had anything to eat, but no. Had a nice black pepper and ginger. Can you have now? Greetings, Mr. Printman. About time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were Hey, close, Printer. So. What'd he do, that poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen that got killed when the first attack on his brother. So, yeah, Less than stellar. Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what did he do? Prisoner. Uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man's a traitor. Attention, everyone! You men have done a fine job that so far. That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper lips. of the peace. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other you city districts and suburbs. Uh, move on. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. Don't 
Bump into me, man. I'm not playing that game. Satan's not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. Huh. You hit the nail on the head. Go and put your... anyone says that Satan's not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something. Hey, you! You don't have a clearance There's to this area! Here. Wait there! Hello. And that's that, sir. You're free. I told you to stop. Sir, stop it! Hands over your head. Hold it right there. God damn it!
you before. You think you can play me for a fool, huh? up against him. Yeah, good old-fashioned mutiny. That's right. Officers against the wall. <laughs> Any minute now. Any freaking minute. Embrace the small pleasures. You sold us outside. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Ressa. I am sorry about your brother. He wasn't, he wasn't supposed, supposed to have been a beaver's transport. But, but you, you know what they say about hearts. And he and died for a cause. Oh. <laughs> Anyone cop? Say it was a good course. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza. Oh, I will kill you. If it's the last thing I do.
Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. He got his military training at West Point. Silver spoon all the way. Still, brothers are diplomat, his sister, she's a UN. Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN reporter Pam Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive. Have a banana for Christ's sake. Invite, please. I love the water in that pool. I just got there. Shall we get really drunk tonight? Hey, man, do like a tree and split. Oh, okay. That's okay. 
Yeah, I need to see an invite. I just got the fastest car. Pretty strong stuff. You made it. Most impressive, Mr. Seven. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg.
chanting, drag raising, chest beating. Two stone throwers, but that approach that you're trying to get off the by top and uh, and it won't stay peaceful for long. General Davis see that. Massage expert Connie Angstrom report at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Are not, not normal. normal. Miss Pearson called in the uh, Sir. Has he arrived? Not my field, sorry. is long overdue, uh, but I guess Pam Kingsley can afford to keep people waiting. Today. 
Excuse me. I need to be alone. Brian brought K. Wait till you your break to go eat. Who are right? you? Anybody know this guy? You are seriously what testing the my pace. Travesty is over. Well, I want it again. And what about my money? When? I checked the accounts an hour ago. If you're trying to rip me off, who doesn't need seven billion dollars? You know what? At this point, I almost don't care. I, I served you people loyally for years. Just get me the hell out of here in one piece. Security detail rules, yeah! This is Klaus Strandberg. Someone called me from this number. I'm sorry, could I just be left alone? Security tight. Those losers out front are really getting worked up, aren't they? Uh, thanks for the suit, by the way. I'll never be a fan of prison orange. <sighs> You keep it. <laughs> you don't like me much, do you, Olanda? Well, it hardly matters. So you think this whole scheme will even work? Um, well, I don't see why not. I work the proles into a frenzy. The tough guys swoop us to safety, and Zaydan rolls in with his tanks to save the day. It's a solid plan. Elaborate, but hinging on a very simple principle. And what's that? People are idiots.
Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. What's going on? Hey man, state your business here. What's up? Maybe someday you'll be a real bodyguard. Hey, hey, hold it. What are you doing here? I'm warning no. you, mister.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore.